away we go. All right. So and really, and really quick here, Benjamin here who was on the bottom pulling guard. No, nope. oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Benjamin was on the bottom pulling guard. Raised over five thousand dollars for Tap Cancer out for a singles match. That's uh, that's unbelievable. Oh yeah. So now he needs. I mean, regardless of whether or not he picks up the W in the, on the mats, he already picked up the W in life. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Um, this is our first gi match of the night. Oh, yeah. And Spencer Hall, obviously, on top. In Ben's guard. <laughs> For those of you who are new to jiu-jitsu and want to know the difference between gi and no gi, basically the gi is a heavy material. You can grab and choke people with it and control them with it, throw them with it, do pretty much anything with the gi, except take it over like a like no hockey fighting. <laughs> right, so here we are with some guard play. And what you notice like with the gi on, Walter, is like, that, that frantic pace is a it's it's not quite as much with the gi because there's a lot more traction with the legs so you're not going to be slipping and sliding everywhere but the passing like what you see right now is a little bit more methodical oh yeah definitely it's definitely a lot more methodical and i mean earlier we saw him try to climb up up on um on spencer but it looks like he's abandoned that plan it looks like uh spencer started his attack and trying to pass his guard but uh benjamin's doing a good job keeping that open guard you see him controlling his sleeves there that makes it really difficult for him to settle down into the guard and split it. So he's jamming the right knee in there. He's going to try and split that guard. If he can just kind of bend those knees and settle down a little bit. But you see he's pulling on the he's pulling on the lapel there. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Now he's settled down. What he wants to do here is just kind of sit back and relax at about 45 degrees. That'll pressure that guard and, and make him think twice about just holding it tight. There you go. So he opened him up. Control those sleeves. Yeah. And, and, and I think what... Um, <clears throat> What Spencer needs to do here is just regain his grip. I mean, he's leaving his hands in there really deep. And, and that's, yeah. what's give, that's what's allowing Benjamin to get, like, this leverage to be able to grab him and start working his legs up, start moving around. Right. What he wants to do is he wants to break that posture down. So when you're on the bottom, you want to break your opponent's posture down. When you're on top, you want to get your posture up. So right now he's controlling the under, under part of the tricep there. Well, now he's got the lapel. He's going to look to break that posture down. If you let your opponent kind of chill out, here we go, we got it open now. If you let the opponent chill up there at that 45 degrees or more, it makes it really hard to sweep or pull off any submission. So here he's got the guard open now. He's going to pin that leg down. He's going to try and scoot right around, and there he goes. Now's a good time for a cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see really important is that hand on the leg down there. That's really the key to this pass. You want to just punch that leg right through, and then he's going to switch directions here. Yeah. And there see, he goes. Now he pins, he staples with his right leg. And this is just, a, if you can get control of that lapel there. He's still got to get the foot out, though. Yeah, and if what he can do is he can take his left arm, just get a little cross face, a little chin music, and he should be able to slice that knee right through. And there we go. There we go. Now he's passed. Okay, excellent leg control. And he goes, goes right to knee on belly. And yeah, that foot got trapped back in there. But he should be able to sneak that right out. Just yeah, he yeah, didn't lock it up. Just a little pivot, but you want to be patient here. There he goes. There, and yeah. Right back into a shallow half guard. Yeah, I think what um, I think what Spencer gonna have to end up doing is get a. Uh, no, Max, no. He's just pretty much just got that foot clear to the mount. <laughs> you can just sneak that foot by. Yep. Now the foot's caught back up. So the key is that foot back there, and there's a variety of ways to escape that right there. Yeah, as we depends on what he's going for, right? Because I cannot see, because unfortunately their back is to us. I sure he's trying to work like maybe like an. Uh, it looks like he's setting up a gift wrap over there. Is that so what it is? Yeah, so he's got a yeah, gift yeah, wrap yeah, over yeah. there, and that's a really powerful position. Now you can actually take the back from here if he kind of scoots back. If he rolls his back to the mat and carries him with him, he can take the back. But he's in a position now where he's probably just going to pass that right leg over. That also depends on how skinny your forearm is. You just sneak it and get the choke. It's possible, sure. There's a there's like a clutch style choke you can do in there. I, I do that in the gym all the time. It's a little tougher in competition because the adrenaline's flowing, and you know I find that the clutch choke it's almost like a cobra clutch. You just kind of sneak it in there, <laughs> uh, um, but it works a lot. It works great in training, but not so much in competition. See, so he's going right back to that gift wrap. He's got it again. See, I, from here, I think the best play is to actually, when he drops to his back, he can take the back. He just kind of sits back, carries him with him, kind of just sit him up like a rag doll. He can take the back from here. Uh, 
Well, he's, he's mounted mean, now anyway, so it's well, all a moot point. But. Yeah, and now it's a moot point, but I say I say they're right there. When he's trying to get up on the side, I just attack the arm. He's like pretty much giving it to you. Yep. Same, these are we're saying what we would do. <laughs> Not saying that's the correct course of action, <laughs> but looks like he's gonna go for the back tape. So he's falling, profes. Oh, maybe not. There's the back take. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. He's got the hooks in. Right here, just want to be nice and patient. you got plenty of time. He's got just a little under two minutes. Patience is the key here. Don't get overexcited. He really wants to get to... With the gi, you're going to have a little bit more luck with the, the lapel chokes and the bow and arrows than you will. The rear nakers can get a little tricky with the extra material on there. But he's got that arm under now. Oh, well, okay, yeah. Benjamin's been fighting that arm yeah. the whole time. And you can see he's going right back to that gift wrap again. It's a really smart play. Ooh, a little under 90 seconds left. Now he's setting up the lapel choke. You can see the hands creeping in there. So, you know, <clears throat> so Spencer going to ride this out at this point because he's... he's you know, you, you absolutely could. I, you know, if you're if you're in a traditional scoring format, I mean, that would be my advice. That's what I'd be coaching from across the mat is take your time, score your points. But, you know, the, the cool thing about this tournament, it's a sub only. It's for, it's for charity. You can take a few risks, you know, have some fun with it. He's got that back still. Yeah, this, is a, this is a tough scenario. He's going to have to explode out from the bottom because he's Looks got 45 like seconds left. Setting up a pseudo S mount, maybe for the arm bar here. Let's see what... Yeah, he's not quite in that S-mount anymore. But he's still in a very dominant position. He's still got that gift wrap. There he goes. Now he's got... The, still hanging on to that gift wrap. I don't blame him. And that's one of my favorite positions right there. And you are right, though, Walter. You can sneak that other arm through, and it's a, there's a pretty nasty little choke in there. At this point, you may as well go for it. You know, you got 10 seconds left. I just kind of throwing anything out there. Yeah, he's got to do it for the arm triangle, but um, I got I got to say it low because they're too close to the competitors. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I don't want to like I don't want to throw a thought out there like, hey, why does he just do this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like getting the ground's like, oh yeah, why don't I do that? <laughs> Excellent match. That was a great match, and once again, a big thank you to Benjamin Simon who raised over five thousand dollars. That's a lot of work, man. That's a lot of good stuff. Five thousand dollars. That's is a great. lot of money for, for you know, and that was just one guy. Well, one one person who arranged for the there was many people donated to get him to five thousand. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's great. It's great for awareness. They like said we're all here for a great cause. Your winner out of the blue corner, Spencer Hall. Spencer Hall won the match, but Benjamin won our hearts. <laughs> Dude, seriously, five thousand dollars. I couldn't give someone donate fifty bucks. So. <laughs> <laughs>